<laughs> I feel your darling stepdaughter is trying to avoid it us. Matter. She always ends up doing just what I want. What if she doesn't fancy being Mrs. Everard Maltravers? My dear sister, you know I always get my way. Oh, uh, boss, I grace me tell. Dog is a menace. Pay no attention to that vulgar beast, Lucifer, darling. Hello, me grace. I mean, I'm sorry, your grace. Threaten? Miserable. I'll get you now. All right, Jeffries, just you keep calm and we'll corner him. Oh, God. Fumbling good for nothing, idiot. Come here, boy. Good boy. You like being petted, don't you? Be patient. Let me take my gloves off. <laughs> Careful, don't knock me over. <laughs> you are the sweetest little thing. <laughs> oh, what a lovely soft coat you have. <laughs> there, that's better, isn't it? I wonder what your name is. What are you trying to say? <laughs> oh, come back here. You're the best hunting dog in the whole world, Smiley. What a heavenly fragrance. Huh? Our plans. Quite so. Jeffries, find out who he is. Mm. You can count on me, boss. I wouldn't count on you if you were an abacus. Just get busy. I'm very sorry, sir, but the animal must be kept on a leash. My good man, you happen to be addressing Don Juan Tenorio, Diariarte Gonzalez Leon, Prince of Andalusia. But the prince does not travel with animals, you imbecile. If you have a problem with him, but, sir, I, you have a problem with us first. <laughs> <laughs> so be careful what you say. No one tells us what to do, and anyone who dares to attempt such a thing will have us to deal with. Now step aside and let us board. <laughs> Oh, you wretched beast! I'll get you for that! Oh. Oh. Give the nice man back his hat. Peel hold! To the captains of all my whaling vessels, keep your crews on the alert and ready to sail at a moment's notice. Yeah. As soon as you receive my confirmation by wire, signed Everard Maltravers. <laughs> well, my replaceable factotum, why the cackling? Pray let me in on the joke. I like a laugh as well as the next man. Hey, nothing, boss. Nothing whatsoever. I was um, uh, simply admiring the masterful way in which you're carrying out this operation. 
Yes, things are proceeding smoothly. There's no reason whatsoever why the Duke shouldn't grant me exclusive worldwide whaling rights. Not to mention the hand of his darling daughter. By marrying her, you'll get your mitts on all of his money, won't you, boss? Won't you? Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's quite all right, Jeffries. You've hit the nail on the head. There's nothing in the world that counts besides money and power. Everything else is simply there to be used to achieve those objectives. Still here? Hurry, man, hurry! Get those wires off to the captains of my fleet! You got it, boss! And weren't you supposed to be finding out everything you can about that fellow we saw boarding? The one with the ill-mannered mongrel. I'll attend to it immediately, boss. Yes, sir. Oh, and one other thing, Jeffries. When I want to hear your opinions, I'll ask for them. Is that quite clear? To half speed, if you please. Yes, sir. Thank you. Reduce to half speed, engine room. Excuse me, Captain. They're waiting for you in the first class dining huh? room. They're all impatient to start the evening. Oh, very well. I'm on my way. There's only one thing worse than a party, and that's a gala evening. Mr. Craig, have me called for any problem whatsoever, and if there aren't any, make one up. Yes, sir. Hurry up, Ronnie. We're late. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, sailors, fellow travelers, welcome aboard the Titanic, the most magnificent ship now flew. Probably every seagoing rodent in the world envies us right now, but remember, not all that glitters is gold. The problem is this ship is new and has never been passed in review by the Mouse Inspection Board. As we know, men are greedy and all too likely to cheat on construction and materials. So for the first few days, be careful how you move about. The good news is that the food on board will be abundant thanks to our official middler, Jean-Luc Camembert. Bonjour, mes amis. It's a pleasure to see you all here. We can count ourselves lucky to have a professional of Jean-Luc's stature aboard. Now, just a minute before you go, wait, wait. One last thing, friends, and very important, too. My network has informed me that the humans have brought on board not only several dogs, but unfortunately, two cats as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sounds great. Good food and cats. I'm really going to enjoy this crossing. Hey, Ronnie, don't play with fire. I've seen them, you haven't. Those are snooty cats belonging to rich people, the kind you kill just for the pleasure of it, not because they're hungry. You heard what the captain said. Promise me you'll be very careful, all right? Hey, let's go check out the dining room, all right? Oh, is she is, Stella. Oh, Mr. Connors. Yes? Ronnie's a bit of a gadabout, but I know I can count on you not to let him get into trouble. <laughs> Thank you so much. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, good evening, my friend. Your Grace. What a pleasure. Sorry for being late. I was working and didn't realize the hour. Elizabeth, you look more enchanting than ever. Not only is it the best ship in the world, but it has the finest cuisine. Captain, have you met Mr. Maltravel? Yes, this morning. <clears throat> Places like this existed. And I thought I'd seen everything. No crumbs and sweepings for us on this trip. It's gonna be my long banquet. Don't go getting any of your crazy ideas, Ronnie. I promised your beautiful sister I'd take good care of you. I don't want to lose any sleep over you, get it? Oh, it's splendid, isn't it? Indeed, my dear. Those dishes are full of good things. And I'm just dying of hunger. We'll have these some leftovers later. What if we eat everything, huh? Oh. oh. 